Bạn cũng chỉ cần giới thiệu là Trong đó có Alright, so we'll get started with some box breathing today. We're going to start by taking some time to get comfortable ground down. So try to get both of your sit bones evenly into your block holder. Hello. Let the knees fall out a little bit lower than the hips here. When grounding down, with those two sit bones, find a tall spine, back of the neck, nice and tall. Hands can be palm face up, palm face down. Pump this up for receiving and pump this down for the ground. Which you need today. Gently bow the chin to the chest. And then we'll turn our focus to our breath. And today we're going to do box breathing. Let's start with a count of four. If there's an over your own count that you'd like to do, go ahead. But I'll guide us for four. So for four seconds, we're going to inhale. Three, two, one. Hold it at the top. Three, two, one. Exhale. Three, two, one. Hold. Three, two, one. Inhale again. Hold. And exhale for four. Completing your box. Try to go into a higher count if you can, maybe five or six, sometimes seven and eight. If any breath is longer, it's that exhale, trying to get a little more air out to release. Let a new go at your own pace. We'll be here for a minute. Use your box breathing to help calm the body, the body and the mind. Not forgetting to hold at the top and the bottom, complete that circle cycle. Are you able to go up to five seconds? Maybe six seconds. You are going to practice increasing the count. Start with that exhale, nice long on the exhale, and then try to hold it for deep. Feeling the lightness take over us, letting the thoughts fly away. And tuning into ourselves, thanking ourselves for showing up on the map. We'll do our last round. And then we can flutter the eyes open and keep them closed. We're gonna take some neck rolls here. Let the head be heavy. Go in all directions. Letting the chin fall to the chest. Left ear towards left shoulder. Head goes back. Right ear towards right over shoulder. Both directions. Keeping the spine tall. Even using our core here to pull back to the spine. And then the next time the ear drops over to the right, hi, come on in. Hi. We'll take the it's okay. We'll take the right hand to the right to the left ear and add a little bit of weight in this next stretch, opening up that left side. Now you can take the left hand, reach it straight out to add some stretch, or maybe even fingers are down on the floor, feeling the stretch go through the neck, through the arm. And then we'll go through center over to the left, left ear, left shoulder. You can have the left hand for some weight. And right arm can go straight out parallel to the mat or fingers down to the floor, whatever angle you feel the stretch. Stay tuned into that long nail exhale. Nice job. We'll release. Let's take the hands behind us. Grab your hands or elbows, or wherever your grip is at. And a nice big inhale, pull the shoulders back, open the chest, a little bit of an upward gaze. And then we'll come back to center, crisscross hands and knees. We're going to lift the knees, drop each knee with one hand, drop the shoulders flat back, let the, chest, the chin drop down to the chest. Feel those shoulder blades opening at the top, pull your belly in.
And we'll come back to seat in our strong. Let's take a little bit of a seat of cat cow here. You can remove the bolster or the block of the pillow, whatever you're sitting on. Hands on knees, we'll inhale, bring the chest forward, gaze up, cow. And exhale to cat. Let the shoulder blades spread back apart, let the chest drop down. Move your inner own pace, seat of cat cow. Really tuning into your spine. Doesn't have to look any one way, it will just feel right. Move, follow your breath. Let the breath guide the movement. So the inhale begins and then you look up. The exhale begins and then you look down. Let's add a little bit more movement, taking those into circles, so protecting your with your hands on your knees to support the weight, and just go as wide as you feel comfortable both directions. Whatever little movements that feel natural, the shoulders might move around, the head might move around. Breathe into your spine, breathe into your hips. All right, let's come back to center and find a nice tall spine. We'll inhale, sweep the hands up, and exhale, twist to the right. Right hand behind you, left hand, right knee cap. Inhale, find more length, and exhale, twist. First spiral twist. Keep that gaze going over to the right. Inhale, back to center, nice reach, and then exhale, twist to the left. Always using your breath to guide you. Inhale, find length. Exhale, twist, and reach in over to the left shoulder. Nice job. Back to center. We'll roll over those knees. Find tabletop position. Let your wrists be stacked on the shoulders. Knees under hips. And then we'll take hip circles here. Bring our right knee out 90 degrees. Flex the toes towards the face. Breathe into the hip as you take a wide circle both directions. Right here, so you snap some crack with the pops. Welcome to where our body's at. Right here, right now. Couple more circles, lean it out, both directions, nice and wide. And then we'll kick that left leg long, heel to the back of the room, send it over to the left. Let your gaze go over the left shoulder, find your right foot. Side body stretch from the heel to the neck. Reaching energy through the bottom of your right heel. Back to center. Same thing, other side. Take that left knee out 90 degrees, protecting the knee with, with pulling the toes forward. And then both directions, nice wide circles, protecting, or sorry, supporting your weight with the wrists. Couple more. Feeling that glute warm up and then kick the heel to the back of the room. Straighten that left leg, let the foot drop over to the right. Hands goes over the right shoulder. Try to find the left foot. Feel the ribs expanding. The outside of the left hip, down to the heel. And back to center, tabletop, nice neutral spine. We'll go into thread the needle, inhale, right hand reaches up to the sky. Exhale, let the hand go under the body, over to the left, reach as far as you can. Let your head come down on the mat, wherever feels natural and comfortable, let the head rest. And then breathe into the outer edge of the right arm. You can take an inversion move. You want to lift that left leg, balancing and thread the needle. Use your right or your left hand to support you. And we return to tabletop just as slow as we came in, nice and controlled. And then we'll thread the needle to the left side. Inhale, sweep it open, open the chest, open the heart, exhale. All the way over to the right, reach as far as you can. Lift the entire length of the arm behind the mat, head comes down. Press the right hand into the mat to help roll a little deeper into the shoulder stretch.
You can lift right leg, the inside leg, if you want to take a little balancing posture. And we return to tabletop. Nice job. Come back into that stacked position, neutral spine. And then we'll reach right hand forward, left heel back. This is our inhale. Exhale, crunch knee and elbow for five. Inhale, find length. Exhale, you crunch so hard that your abs engage. Turn this into a warm up. Feel the core. Every time you exhale, bring that knee so high into the chest. Nice job. And then last one, we'll drop both right hand and left knee and take it to the other side. Inhale, reach with the left hand, right foot. Exhale, crunch underneath you, hold it really tight. Inhale, exhale. At your own pace. Pull that knee even higher into the chest. Beautiful job, nice. We'll, nice job, we'll plant the hand and knee. Tuck both toes, and then lift the knees just two inches off the mat, hold there. Feel that core, get back to it again. Next exhale, down dog. Send the hips to the sky, send them back with the heels settle. First down dog of class, walk the dog here, walk it out. You'll spread those fingers really wide, press the palms into the mat. Turn your shoulders in to face each other just a little. Let the shoulders be away from the ears. Gaze is back between the legs. The higher your gaze can go, the better. So maybe you can try to look at your belly button. And then your heels don't have to touch the ground when you're reaching for your mat. We'll look at the space between our hands and take little baby steps to the front of the mat. Keep the hips really high as you go. When your feet get to the front, ragdoll pose, feet are hips with distance. Let the belly hang out on the thighs. Grab your elbows. And a nice release here from your low back all the way through the head and the neck. Shake out the head, yes, shake out the head now. Ending on a yes. You can straighten into one leg at a time. Holding up those hamstrings. Keep your belly button pulled up the hand and get into this wrap ball pose. Then we'll roll up one vertebrae at a time, all the way to standing. Let your head be the last thing to come up, and we'll take a couple shoulder rolls. Pull the shoulders up to the ears and then down the back. Feeling that nice opening across the chest. Just pulling back and down, and then we'll meet in mountain pose. Hips, feet hips with distance, hands down by the side, and then with the crown of your head, reach up a little taller, find the tallest view. Mountain pose, inhale, hands overhead. Exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. Inhale, hot lift, shut your heart forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank pose, hold plank. From plank, lower down to eight point pose. So just drop the knees to start. Chest and chin are point seven and eight. Don't drop the hips yet. Find that natural C curve in your spine. And then let the legs go long. Press the tops of the feet into the mat, hands under the shoulders. Inhale, cobra pose. Use the strength of the low back. Exhale, release, chin to the mat. We're gonna do two more back bends. Inhale, second cobra pose. This time maybe taking a little deeper to space. Coming on to those forearms if you like. Press the hands into the mat and pull forward for this back bend. And release, chin back down to the mat. We'll do one more. When you're ready, inhale, deepest back bend that you want. Maybe taking hands into the floor, straightening into the arms. Let the gaze be up, shoulders out of the ears. And release, press the hands under the shoulders to child's pose. Let the hips go back to the heels. Find a nice long spine. Let this be a counter stretch for the three of that bend. Tuning back into the breath, trying to engage our jai breathing, making that ocean wave sound.
We'll walk the hands over to the right, little side body stretch, reach through the left fingertips, send the weight back to the left hip. Forehead can still be hanging out wherever it's comfortable. Hands through center over to the left, reach through the right fingertips. Let the weight go back to that left, that right hip. Feel the expansion in the ribs, opening the shoulder, reaching through the fingers. And back to center, take it through tabletop to Daryl Dog. Let those hips go high, send them back, heels settle. Make sure we're strong in those shoulders. All right, let's inhale, right leg high to the sky. Bend the knee, drop, let the foot drop in the air over to the left. And then look under your left shoulder, trying to find that great foot. Yes, big hip opener. Keep those shoulders square to the back. And then exhale, low lunge, bring the right foot forward, drop that knee. We'll come into our low lunge, breathing into the left hip flexor here. For low lunge, you can keep hands on the mat if you feel that stretch well enough or maybe pressing up into that knee, lifting the chest a little bit, getting a deeper angle. The goal is that left hip flexor, even getting into the psoas. If you're uplifted, make sure your core is nice and tight, shoulders relaxed out of the ears. Last breath here, try to relax and settle into that hip area. And then we'll exhale, half splits, straighten into your right leg. Walk your right heel a little bit forward. Toes flex up and back. Inhale, find length in your spine. And exhale, fold over your right leg. Half splits on the right side. Try to get your forehead down to that shin. Breathing into your hamstring and the calf. Last exhale here, try to get the deepest stretch, and then we'll lift the chest, come forward to high lunge. Plant through the right foot, sweep the hands forward. Nice job. So deep bend in the front knee, track it out. Make sure you can see that right big toe. Still getting that stretch here. Pull that left knee up into the quad to get more stretch. And then exhale, we're gonna twist our arms to the right. So left hand forward, right hand over to the back of the room, or maybe just relaxing around the low back. And then exhale, easy twist. Left hand to the inside of right foot. Right hand goes to the sky. Plant your right hand, send the right foot back to meet the left. You can take it through your first Chaturanga Vinyasa or lower all the way down to your belly with an exhale. Inhale to Cobra or Up Dog, whichever your practice is at. And exhale, we knee it down, Dog. I'll let you take those at your own pace, your own modifications. Inhale through the nose. Open up, exhale, release the feet. Finding our symmetry. And then we'll inhale, left foot high to the sky, bend the knee, drop the foot in the air, over to the right, look under your right shoulder. Try and find that foot. Keep the shoulders square to the back. Big hip opener, but we're not losing strength of the shoulders. And then exhale, plant the foot at the top of the mat for a low lunge. Drop that right knee. And then moving into your low lunge, you can keep hands on the mat. Or for a little bit of a deeper stretch, maybe lifting up, pressing into the knee. Whatever you do, try to keep your tailbone tucked down to the earth. You'll get more of a stretch rather than kind of popping up and back. Keep the tailbone tucked, core engaged, opening up the right side. Use your breath to send your energy and focus to that spot that's holding tension. Imagine the release, opening up the hips. Exhale, half splits, send the hips back towards the right heel, straight into the left leg. Flex those left toes up and back to the face for a calf stretch. You can walk the heel a little bit farther forward. Inhale, find a lengthening spine. 
And exhale, fold over your left leg. Keep the core engaged. And then the next time we come forward, high lunge, sweep the hands up and settle into that deep left knee. Try to get 90 degrees. Also tracking the knee out so you can see that big toe. Exhale, twist the hands to the left. This time, right hand forward, left hand can be back or maybe wraps around the low back. I find that more comfortable. Exhale, easy twist, right hand on the inside of the left foot. Left hand lifts to the sky. You're pressing down with your left wrist and both feet. Nice job. Release the left hand to the floor. Left foot steps back to knee right. Take it through your chaturanga vinyasa or skip it and knee in down dog. All right, we're going to look at the space between the hands on the bottom of the exhale. Walk step right up to the front of your mat. When you can get there, inhale, half lift, shine the heart forward, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up to standing, hands overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart center, down by the side. We'll bring the big toes to the touch, coming into a bit of a chair pose. So big toes to touch the space between the heels. And then inhale, sweep the hands forward, bend the knees, send the hips back to find your chair pose. Check out those big toes, make sure you can see them. Knees are pulling back, hips are trying to find that chair. Exhale, upper hands twist to the right. Left elbow hooks on the right knee. We're making sure that that left knee doesn't pop forward. Glue the left knee to the right knee. Pull your belly button up and in, pull your, push the hands together, let the gaze go to the right. Inhale, hands come through center. Big breath, exhale, twist to the left. Press the palms together, glue those knees together. As you press the palms, you're getting more twists. Gaze goes over to the left. Inhale, through center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, shine the hair forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, take it through your chaturanga vinyasa, or skip the end, knee in down dog. Nice job here. Let's inhale, right foot high to the sky. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, give it a tap. Inhale, the foot high. Exhale, knee to chest, don't drop the foot. Use the core, inhale the foot up. Third exhale, knee goes across the body, left elbow, give it a tap. Inhale the foot high. And then exhale, lizard pose, drop your foot on the outside of right pinky and drop left knee. Lizard pose, different than low runners lunge. We're gonna turn the chest a little bit over to the right and press the knee away just a little. Getting more into that inside groin area, beautiful. We're going to hold it for about 30 seconds, so settling into the lizard pose. Use that ujjayi breathing, building your internal heat, but staying in control. Last breath here, nice job, lift up. Press the hands into the mat and take it back to down dog. Right foot go back, knee to the left. We're in our nice neutral down dog. Inhale, left foot high to the sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, give it a tap. Inhale, left foot long. Second exhale, knee to chest, pull it really high. Inhale, left foot long. Third exhale, cross the body. Tap the right knee or shoulder, or sorry, over the shoulder, inhale high. Fourth exhale, lizard pose. <clears throat> Excuse me. Drop the left foot on the outside of the left pinky, roll onto the outer edge of that foot. Settling into lizard pose on the other side. You can come down to that forearm. Maybe turn your chest over to the left and gently keep the knee tracking out. Last 
Let it gravity help open it up. Trying to soften into those areas you feel the most. Last few seconds here. And then take those hands under the shoulders, step back to down dog. All right, we've got the space between the hands on the bottom and exhale, walk step right off to the front of your neck. When you get there, inhale, half lift, shine the heart forward. And exhale, forward fold, deep forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands down by the side. We're gonna come back to chair pose, big toes to touch, space between the heels. Inhale, bend the knees, settle those hips down, swing the hands forward, chair pose. Make it a little bit lower, tuck your tailbone down to the earth, low ribs pull in. Exhale, prayer hands, twist to the right. Get that nice, strong hook that we've seen before. Press those palms together. We're gonna move the weight into the right foot. Begin to kick stand the left toes. When you feel stable, you can lift left heel towards left glute. And then you're gonna send the foot back to the high lunge legs. High lunge legs. Nice job, guys. All right, we're gonna to inhale to high lunge, sweep the hands forward. And then exhale, drop the hands behind to grab your hands or your elbows, whichever you like to open the chest, and then step to warrior three. Kick that left heel off the mat. Sending to the back of the room, you look like a capital T from the side. Opening those shoulders, keep balancing through left, or sorry, right foot. Drop hands to the floor for standing splits, left foot high, let the forehead come down through your right foot. Use your breath. And then stay here, maybe you plant hands under shoulders, bend the knee for a little bit of handstand practice. Popping off of the right foot, trying to keep the left foot in the air the whole time. We'll get to that side next. Popping off the ball of the right foot, the weight of your hips, try to move over the shoulders. Nice work, guys. We'll plant those hands, step the feet back, take it through a chaturanga vinyasa, or skip it feet in down and down. Use your breath to get there. Nice strong inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, release the heat. Inhale, left foot high to the sky. Oh, I'm sorry, we're gonna take it back to chair pose. Put that foot back down. Look at the space between your hands. Bottom of your exhale, walk step or hop to the front of your mouth. Inhale, half lift, shine your heart forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up to standing. And exhale, down by the side. Bring the big toes into touch, space between the heels. Inhale, sweep the hands forward, send the hips back, chair pose. Nice and strong here, we have one side to finish. Exhale, prayer hands twist to the left. Get that grip with the elbow and knee, press the palms together, lift your core up. Move the weight into the left foot. Kickstand the right toes to start, making sure you're stable in left ankle. And then sending your right foot all the way back to high lunge legs. Keep the spinal twist, chest over to the left. Nice job. Inhale, hands to high lunge. Nice tall spine. And then exhale, drop the hands behind, taking your grip. Open that chest, it's a shoulder stretch. And then jump forward to warrior three. Grounding through left foot, kicking through right heel to the back of the room. Keep your balance with that foot chakra. And release to standing splits. Hands come to the ground, kick that right heel up. Lay your forehead, try to find the top of that left foot. Release the head here, it's not doing any work for us, it's relaxed. And then now you can stay in standing splits or plant those hands under the shoulders, bend it to left knee as you pop off the ball 
of the left foot. Hamstring practice on the other side, trying to keep your right foot in the air. Really practicing one side at a time. Couple more, use your breath, control the core. And then we'll step it back. Take it through your chaturanga vinyasa, skip the knee and down. All right, let's drop to the knees, coming to puppy pose. Walk those hands forward. Keep the hips over the knees here for puppy pose. So it's like a child's pose, but more of a shoulder stretch. Let the forehead find the back. And you should feel this in the front of the shoulders. If you need a bit more, you can come up onto the fingers. Maybe even putting that bolster under those hands or blocks, just to get more tight under the hands. Run the shoulders here. And return to your Ujjayi breathing. Noticing whatever you're noticing. And then same thing as with child's pose. We'll walk our hands over to the right, reach through left fingertips, keep that forehead down comfortably. Breathe into the left rib cage, open the outside of the left shoulder. Move the hips, the weight of the hips kind of over to the left to get more of a stretch. And then we'll walk the hands through center over to the left. Reach through right fingertips, settle the weight back to the right hip. Nice big side body stretch. Expanding the breath into that right bone, opening the ribs. All right, we're gonna come just to sitting on our shins for a minute. We you can come through center, and then we'll bring the insides of our shins, or our thighs together, so we're sitting on the shins. And we're going to take our fingers, face forward, press the hands into the mat. And on an inhale, lift the hips, let the head drop back. Feel the quads open, feel the front of the shoulders. And release. Nice job. We're just going to come forward, lifting the weight, and then open up the balls of our feet here now. So getting into all 10 toes, we're going to send the weight back if that's comfortable, eventually opening all 10 toes. Yeah, you can kind of rock side to side too, if that feels okay. And then we'll add a wrist stretch here. I like to take the back of my wrists together, press them into each other, kind of the opposite of down dog. So we're gonna get back into it. So <laughs> try to sit nice and tall through the spine, the hips and toes come out of it. All right, let's do these. We're gonna come down to frog pose. So since we're down on the mat, let's take our knees really wide. Press the insides of your shins into the mat. And then we start by having our weight in our hands, so in the wrists. So find a really open groin. Use those knees to wiggle out. And then only if it's comfortable, you begin to move the weight either forwards and backwards or come down to your forearms. Find your variation of frog pose. It shouldn't hurt. It should feel like a really big opening in the hips. We hold this way pose for a bit longer. So try to find a space you can settle in. And maybe even returning to that box breathing to help us stay focused. Move the hips a little bit to find a new angle to stretch. You can come up onto the hands or forearms or just send the weight forwards or back. I guarantee you'll find a new angle. Lots going on here. And then once again, for another 10 breaths, we're going to settle in. 
try to notice where you're holding tension. Very slowly moving the weight back into the hands, wiggle the knees closer together. We come out of rock pose so slow. And then we'll meet back and down dog, taking your time to get there, really noticing the sensation in the hips, feeling that rebound. Maybe a little tingle, lots of opening. Taking any little movements that feel natural before getting back to down dog. Look at the space between your hands, bottom of your exhale, walk super long to the front of your mat. Inhale, uplift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan back all the way to steam. And exhale, hands to the center, down by the side. Next inhale, hands go back overhead. Nice big breath. Exhale, and jump the hips forward fold. Inhale, hop a little shine the back forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, turn on. Or skip it and knee down dog. Alright, this time we'll inhale, right foot high to the sky. Exhale, plant the foot, open up warrior two. Cartwheel the left hand back, right hand forward. Deep bend in your front knee, really deep bend, shock the knee out, relax the shoulders out of the ears. Your hips are opening, frog helped us with that, your hips should feel nice and open. Engage your core, pull up with your knee out and your yoga bones. Exhale, extend it, side angle, right elbow, right knee, left hand reaches up and over. If you want to make it harder, you lift that right hand off the knee like you're holding a beach ball in front of you. Using those obliques. Nice job. Inhale, reverse for your left hand down, right hand up. Opening that rib cage once again on the right side. And then we're going to come through center to our triangle pose. So a shorter stance for triangle. Heel to heel alignment. Reach those fingers forward until you can't anymore. And revolve the hands. Left hand up, right hand can be down onto the fingers, on the block, on your shin. Whoever feels most natural. And then stay here. What we're going to take bound triangle today, trying to wiggle our right shoulder under right knee. And then if you can get there, you'll have to bend that right knee to get the shoulder underneath. Reach your right hand under the body and up to your low back. Left hand reaches down to the low back. Yes. Now the next step is straightening into that front leg. We've got to go back to triangle legs. Be careful not to hyperextend anything. Don't push your body past its limit. Notice the shoulder opening and the legs. Beautiful job. All right, let's do these bound triangle. Come through center to a wide leg forward fold. Take your right toes into pigeon. Inhale, find length for the lift. And exhale, forward fold. Wide leg forward fold. So your stance for wide legged forward fold could be different. It could be wider, your head's not touching the mat. If your head's pretty close to the mat, you'll need a more narrow grip. Play around with it. Five to 10 breaths here. Any variations to this pose of art, maybe even taking an inversion, if you're ready. Breathing into the back of both legs, pull your belly button up to the spine. Let the head hang heavy here. It's another pose. You can shake out the head, yes and no. Making it your yoga. Nice. We got some headstanders here, so we're gonna let them hold it. Another five or 10 breaths, maybe. Taking another variation of what they did for the pole. All right, we will meet us back and down dog. We're going to turn our hands to the front of the mat, framing right foot. 
Tuck the step right foot back to the left. Take it through Chaturanga Vinyasa or skip the knee and down dog. Use that powerful Ujjayi breathing. And then inhale, left foot high to the sky. Exhale, plant the foot, warrior two. Cartwheel those hands nice and wide. Really open stance here. So the hips are opening, feel the heel alignment. Right knee tracking out, make sure you can see the toe. Relax the shoulders, engage the core. Exhale, extend this side angle. Try to keep those warrior two legs. Reach up with the right hand. And then if you're holding that beach ball, you'll lift the left hand off. Left knee. Use the obliques to keep the chest up. And inhale, reverse the hands. Left hand up, right hand down. The reverse warrior. Open that rib cage. Nice job. Welcome to center, setting up a triangle. Take a shorter stance if that's comfortable for you. Still feel to heel alignment. Reach left fingers forward so they can't aim more than the ball of the hands. Left hand down, right hand up. Use that core. And then moving into bound triangle. If that's a new practice today, I saw a lot of open shoulders. So wiggle that left shoulder under left knee. You'll have to bend the knee to get there. Once you have that bind, try to straighten into the left leg. Let your gaze do whatever is comfortable. Your gaze might even be under your right shoulder up to the ceiling. Keep that core engaged. And then we'll release. Turn the left toes into pigeon this time. Second wide leg forward fold. When you get to your forward your foot stance, inhale, find length, lift the chest. Exhale, second wide leg forward fold. Second and final. Take any variation you like here. You can have a spinal twist. You can take a handstand, headstand, forearm stand. Or you can just relax and let the gravity open your low back. Let the head release to the floor. Few more breaths. All right, we'll take it back to the front of the mat. Bring the left foot this time. Take it through your last very Chaturanga Vinyasa. So we'll be down dog. Use your breath to get there. Strong, powerful breathing. And then we'll come into a pigeon pose. Inhale, right foot high to the sky. Exhale, let the knee land behind the wrist. Shin comes parallel to the front of the mat. Walk your left leg long. And we settle into our pigeon pose. Nice and slow at your own pace. If it feels right, you can lower down to those forearms. Maybe even rolling your inner thigh up and out on the way. So that right leg, trying to roll the thigh out to get more into that hip stretch. And then again, this is a pose where we notice where the tension is going. So imagine your breath going right to the hip. Relaxing and releasing from every little cell. And where do go? You hold me tight to your shoulders and your face. Try to relax the rest of the body as well. the chest, and then draw the weight over onto the right hip, bring the left foot all the way around until it stops for fire log pose. So now we're going to open both hips at the same time, get the left foot to stack on top of the right knee, left knee will go down to that right ankle. We're going to press our fists or our hands into the mat to lift the hips, let them come back down with even weight on both sides. 
And then this could be your stretch today. You can feel them both hips here. Try to relax and take a stretch. Otherwise, you can move your weight forward using your hands to guide you down. You should do this in both hips. It's a very big stretch. We're trying to reduce that space between knee and ankle. And keep that bottom shin forward. Don't let it go too far back on your body. First up, release the legs. And now we're going to take one last shoulder stretch. We're going to take our right heel into our body. Left leg stays long right in front of us. We're going to wiggle. It's another bind. So we're going to get the back of this left leg and our shoulder at the same time. So we're going to wiggle the right shoulder forward. And then we all have that bind on triangle pose. So it'll be similar. Right hand goes to the back. Left hand wraps around, the left hand has a bigger reach, so really maybe grab your shirt and then inch those fingers closer together. If you have the bind, we'll inhale, find a little bit of length in the spine and the chest. And then exhale, fold over your left leg. Let the forehead go down to the shin, relax into your right shoulder. Down box, so you can take pigeon pose the other side. So make your way back to your down dog. Take any little movements that feel nice and natural. And then inhale, left foot up out of the sky. Exhale, the knee lands behind the wrist. Bring the shin parallel to the front of the mat. Walk your right leg down. And then settling down into pigeon pose. Maybe rolling that thigh up and out on the way down. Getting more space for the belly to lie closer to the mat. If there's any pain on the knees, we'll come into just a supine figure four. Getting that same stretch. And then right away, noticing where you're noticing the tension in the Look at this tightness. Chest, roll over onto the left hip. Bring the right foot all the way around till it stacks on left knee. Firewalk pose. Shins are parallel to each other. Take the fists or the hands into the mat to lift the weight, lift the hips, settle back down nice and again. Try to reduce that space between knee and ankle. This could be your stretch today if you feel it right here. Or you can begin to move that chest forward and support yourself with the hands. Breathe into both hips. Push up out of that, release the legs, and then we'll take the same stretch on the side with the right leg go long. Left heel comes into the body as tight as the heel can. 
And then we begin to roll that left shoulder from the left knee, maybe using a strap or your shirt to grab whatever grip you can have to open the shoulder. Inhale to find a little bit of length and lift in the chest, pull the core up. And exhale, fold over your right leg. Supporting yourself with the shoulders. Once you get onto your back, give yourself a little hug. Bring the knees into the chest. Wrap the forearms around the shins. In a little rocking side to side. Bring the back. And we're coming to the happy baby. Grabbing the outsides and insides of both feet. And then you can continue that rocking motion with happy baby, or if you want to work on that stretch, just try to pull the knees to the outside of your ribs, try to touch the mat there. Tuck the chin down to the chest so your neck and spine are tall. And then maybe straight into one leg at a time, happy baby. See what that feels like. All right, we'll do one last inversion today. Getting a reverse blood flow. Let the heels go to the ceiling. We'll press the palms into the mat and push yourself up to a shoulder stand if that's in your practice. You can come to sitting against the wall with the legs propped up if you would like, or maybe even taking supported bridge with a block. Once you have shoulder stand, move those elbows together. Try to keep the hips balanced over your shoulders. Yogi's choice for those legs. Try to do five to ten breaths in whatever pose you're holding. Maybe not flow the flow to the heart. All right, cloud pose. Before we come out of this, let the feet drop overhead. You can grab the hands together. Real big low back opener. Try to tuck it to push the chest up into the chin. And then use your hands to support you. Come down one vertebrae right at a time with the tailbone. Be the last thing to come out. And then at this time, I invite you to take any last stretches that are calling the name today. And I'll give you a minute or so to really tune in to what's, what movements we didn't touch on. Before we settle into our final parts of the class. So, let's see your body can come out. Yeah, we didn't do a spinal twist at the end today, so if you need one last twist. And then we'll take it down to Shavasana, our final pose of class. Let the legs go long, toes roll out to the side. Hands can be down by the side or left hand on heart. Right under solar plexus. Bow the chest, or the chin down to the chest just a little, so the neck and spine are long. Dedicating this next time to yourself. Tuning into that third eye consciousness. Welcome to your freedom, Shavasana.
and moving it back into your body and let it move through the ears and tongue. Let the head rock side to side. And we'll reach our hands on the head like it's a big stretch over there. You can flutter the eyes open, notice some spaciousness. And then go over onto your favorite side, using your arm as a pillow. And bring the space. Noticing the piece that you cultivated for yourself. Yogic practice will take this off the ground and let's meet another time for the hours of it. Gently press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. We need sitting on our sit cross legged hands, resting on the knees. Gentle bow. Last thing you'll do is bring the hands over your head. Exhale the thumbs down to the third eye center. Turn into that third eye for your, your alternate. The light of me sees it almost the light of me. And as you say, 